G'day and welcome back for more Survival Unlikely. Huh? Who's talking? Me. It's only ever me. Where are you? I'm in my bedroom. Where are you? I'm out in the corridor. Why are you out in- Why are you grinding things in your bedroom? Because I'm rearranging stuff. Should I come in? Maybe I shouldn't come in. No, you shouldn't come in when I'm grinding stuff in my bedroom. Hmm. Ah, that's right. Oh, I'm not going that way. I gotta look at my new acquisitions. Yeah, what ac acquisitions are those? What? You don't... You don't remember that we captured oh, a giant spaceship? That. You're calling that your acquisition, okay. Well, we acquired it, didn't we? Yeah, but uh, you... You're taking full ownership of it, by well, the sounds of it. I mean, I managed to fly it down the tunnel. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. You can... It's yours. Can't I suppose remember. I've I've kind of taken ownership of the cockroach, even though that wasn't really just my sole effort. Which one of us spotted it first? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. No, I, honestly, it's yours, Capac. I'm not um, going to dispute that. Okay, well... It's, it's yours to do with as you will. It's definitely going to need some repairs. My usual approach is to go think about purpose first, but that really doesn't seem like a Capac approach. Because I think... I think about the purpose and then I design around that purpose. I mean, it's, it's pretty well in tech, so I think I'm going to sort of leave it mostly as it is. So keep it atmosphere capable, or is it primarily going to be a space vessel? Yeah, it, it might be useful for if we end up going to another planet or something. We could use it as a base of operations, then, then we wouldn't necessarily have to airlift our, our rover base. Or we could use this to airlift it. Oh yeah, you could build that as the rover lift. Um, but, that sounds like a great idea. But it's gonna definitely gonna need some repairs. So I think. What do you think about? It might need to also be in a slightly different place to where it is currently. Well, yeah. Um, and we can maybe dig out like a second hangar for it. Um, but what I was gonna say is, what do you think about? Um, piping up like along these girders so that we've got like access to stuff for the cockroach and the, the gremlin um sure you can build that well isn't exactly what I was getting at <laughs> I know exactly what you were getting at <laughs> you were wanting me to do it for you right, where's, where's the nearest cargo <laughs> access point from here alright well, I know what I'm doing Good. I mean, more or less. Hopefully more than less. Uh, well, I've got to do some work on my fighter because I want to make it a bit more nimble than it currently is. I don't have enough motors. My fighter that I can't seem to come up with a better name than the croissant for. Or croissant. That's a perfectly or... good name. Yeah, but I don't think I've got the pronunciation good enough for it's anyone who's French if they croissant. hear it. Croissant. Like, I genuinely think that could get very irritating if you're hearing someone mess up your language. And kind of what is, <laughs> well, at least to everyone else, sort of your national pastry. Um, well, I mean, pro tip, not actually from France. What's um, that? Nothing. Yeah, but most people, that's why I said to people from outside it, it was if you're French. Being very careful to include myself a caveat there. Uh, I think those are uh, Italian. <laughs> oh. oh, that's good. It's a little concerned for a second there. What's that? I don't know why I built my pipes through the elevator shaft. What are you doing building pipes around the elevator shaft? What? what? I, I just finished explaining to you what I'm doing. Yeah, but they shouldn't need to go anywhere near the elevator shaft. I've already got piping going to the front of the cockroach. You would have started there, surely. You're taking crazy pills. No, I think you haven't been taking your anti-crazy pills. I told you, I'm building a pipe from uh, whatever this building is. The I guess this is the elevator reception area? Capac, look at this here. What? Look at this block here. Oh, where are you? I've got my broadcast on, you can find me. See yeah, this block I know. here? You've got a pipe Why didn't you just go straight up to the roof and along? 
Eh, that's not as fun. That's the sensible way to do things. Eh, it's about the same amount of pipes. Where the heck have you started? Over here. No, that's a whole lot more piping. Eh, it's fine. Ugh. You literally could have gone up with six pieces to get to where you've gotten with five, ten, fifteen, seventeen pieces. Yeah, but it wouldn't have been as stylish. Would have been more stylish because this is a eyesore. No, it's not. I mean, I mean, it fits in quite well, I think. <laughs> yes, most of down there is currently an eyesore. Well, you can pretty it up later. <sighs> Go back. Do you know what happened to all those drones that were attacking us when we went to bed? We were getting attacked by drones? We were. Oh. I haven't seen any of them. <sighs> Clearly. Uh, don't see anything on my heads up display. No, I don't see them either. That's why I was wondering whether you knew what happened. I know one of them crashed just as I was watching the ceiling. Maybe the other ones did too. I think I know what's going on here. Those ghosts! What are you doing at the moment? I'll show you when I'm ready. It's not ready yet. What? What do you mean, what? How is there anything wrong with me saying I'll show you when I'm ready? That just means it's something frivolous. No, it means it's something that the reveal is important. Oh, are you gonna have. Are you gonna announce when the trailer's coming out? That's, that's what you do these days, when you got a, a big event happening, you, you release a teaser, or the date, or when the trailer will come out. Uh, no, I am not a fan of that concept, so no, I will not be doing that. Go back. Come up to my room. What? Come up to my room. Mm. I want to show you something. It's really cool. I don't know if I want to see. No, trust me, I'm in the corridor. Okay. Uh, what's going on? What's Helmet going open. On? Lights what? off. Lights off. Alright, come this way. Come through. Yeah! Ow! <laughs> the dog pinched me. Alrighty, go through to my room. Tell me what you think. What? Through here? Yep. Um... Mm -hmm. I still got the TV. Got some books on a table. Uh huh. Oh, a nice little chest of drawers. Uh huh. Yeah. A uh, little plant. It's looking pretty good. Come and stand where I am and look huh? the direction I'm looking. Which direction are you looking? I can't see you got your helmet on. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I do. Look that way. Towards the door. No, to your left, 90 degrees. 90 degrees to my left. That's your right. Oh, so 90 degrees to my left. <laughs> Turn again. What? I was just looking this way. Go back. Do I need to get my grinder out? What? How rude. I told you I don't want to see any of that stuff. Turn and face the same direction as me. Whoa. What the? What is this? Some kind of hologram? It's pretty cool, huh? That's, that's not what the moon looks like. <laughs> I know. Hey, jeez, if the planet we just left looked like that, we probably wouldn't have gone anyway. I know. It's pretty cool, huh? Oh, that water looks delicious. <laughs> That's what I get to wake up to every morning now. Mm. Well, I guess it's now always morning, because I don't think that sun's moving anyway. No, I don't think it is either. Well, that's... Seriously, stand exactly where I am. In the corner of behind the couch and now look at it. The illusion's basically perfect from there. Well, except for the lines. Well, yeah, but that you could believe is the windows. I hope you got some fly screens to keep the bugs out. <laughs> yeah, a little creek, lake thing like that would uh, probably not have any in it since there's snow. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, very nice. Yeah, thank you. That'll help keep the drones away for sure. Well, that's the next item on the agenda, is working on my croissant. Ow! Ah! 
What did you just do? Parent, <laughs> what? Wait, wait, this should be pressurized. Yeah, I don't know why it's not. It never seems to be. Alright, so I'm going to add some extra thrusters to the rear of my fighter. Because I want it to have a bit more oomph. A bit more go-juice. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, because I thought I'd have more room in here. To like some solid rocket them. boosters? No, no SRBs. Um, more like some extra ion thrusters. Oh, that's, that's not as fun. And then the other thing I was thinking of doing was moving my Gatling guns to the inside of the wings rather than at the tips, because that'll allow me to do more design at the tips. And I mean we need I need a lot less conveyor tubing. Oh yeah. That should be enough thrust, I think. At least for the lift. I've doubled the number of large thrusters for lifting thrust. Uh. And I've, at least on one side so far, doubled the forward thrust as well. So I should get a significant improvement in acceleration, even though I've added some extra mass through a few more power sources. If a pipe is sort of closed from point to point, then it comes up green, right? Yeah, if it's got power. Oh, you know what? I think I figured it out. I think if I put a pipe here... Whereabouts are you um, having red uh, pipes? Underneath, there's a pipe that's lit up red at the moment. It looks like it's connected to the med bay and that oxygen generator. Conveyor junction... Through to... This conveyor junction's not working that's why i see there you go now it's green sweet that makes sense was it always the super gremlin or did you put that up oh that was already there oh you know you should make it personalized for you i'm gonna color it but i think i might keep it as a gremlin or i might slightly change something yeah i think slightly change the name but i didn't mean completely but it just something that makes it uniquely capac that lock we are now hooked up to the connector. Oh, you're hooked up to the base. Cool. Well, it's not going to be too much longer before I've got the, um, the croissant ready to go. So we'll be able to go out and grind down some components off some of those wrecks that we know the location of. Locked to the connector, but I'm also locked to the ground. Yeah. When I turned off the thrusters, I fell, even though I was connected to the connector. Okay, that all sounds very strange. I don't understand. Green means lock, right? Sometimes you need to remember that old um, saying. Ours is not to reason why, ours is just to do and die. What? I don't want to die. Really? Why is this parachute broken? <laughs> you could have fooled me. Feels like you want to use your clones over and over again. I'm gonna see the limit of the cloning vat. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that. It just happens. <laughs> hmm. This map base still isn't giving me air or hydrogen. Has it got any ice? Well, it's connected to the base now. The base doesn't have any ice. Oh. Why doesn't the base have any ice? No, because uh, it filled up the cockroaches tanks. Uh, with the ice you collected last. I would explain it. Oh, since you're here, I can show you the croissant properly. So, what I've done, I took the gatlings from the ends of these arms and put them in closer so that my spread of fire is actually a lot tighter. So now it's got fingers. What? It's got four fingers on each hand. Oh, the thrusters. Yeah, I moved the reversing thrusters from in from being tucked in here and put them at the front and added an extra one. They're even mapped in the right proportions to be fingers. I know. <laughs> Got one, then a slightly longer one, then a slightly shorter one, then a very short one. Yes, yes. They're fingers, fine. It's a fighter with no thumbs. <sighs> anyway, I added an extra pair of large thrusters for forward thrust. Oh, yeah. And an extra pair for lift. Yep. And by moving the Gatlings in tighter, I was able to clear out a bit of space. I've added another eight reactors and another two batteries. Hmm. I've got a question for you. Yeah? Those thrusters on the bottom... Mm hmm. Uh, is there anything, like, above the base of those blocks? Could they be recessed in another block? No. 
the thrusters that are the downward thrust that are on top are there. Uh, are you sure there? Yeah. Yeah, I decided I kind of didn't mind having it flush with the armor, the square base. When they were recessed in with the four of, with the pair, it looked a little funny. Wait, so it was the best. Come one of your runners is yellow, but one of them's black. What? This, oh, because I didn't kids. finish the other one. Whoops. That's why. I wanted to have some yellow on the bottom, and this seemed the most appropriate bit. Yeah, what do you think? You haven't changed all the thrusters to the blue color I was painting them last time. I changed most of them to black. To a darker gray. Why? Because with them more exposed, the blue didn't really work. I mean, they've still got the same blue because of the thrust color, anyway. Alright, so what are you going to go fight? Well, I thought I would go and protect you while we go and grind down some stuff. Or we can go and explore one of those bases nearby if you want me to provide you cover while you do the infiltration. Um, I guess I could take the uh, little pig. Oh, well, man. I was going to suggest you take the grinder. Uh, the grinding vehicle if we're going to go grind down one of those racks. Right, so you want to go on some kind of expedition. Yeah, I would. I do. I do. And you want me to take one of your ships while we go try to fight things? No, if we're going to go fight things, I, you can take your little pig. But if we're going to go, you know, salvage things like the Reaver Heavy Corvette or something like that. Oh, okay. Then we'd take the grinder. Because remember, we've got the Reaver wreck and the, um, there's a wrecked gremlin that we've not ever gotten around to scrapping. I've got eight hours of power hovering. Okay. Time to... Oh, man. We really do need to get some lights in here somehow. Okay, here we go. That's got some go juice. Yeah. And i got plenty of gyros on this thing. I can flick it around in no distance at all. Alright, so we... Can you see me? Uh, Let me know when you're outside. Yes. Are you outside? Is that you or is it three boulders flying in the air? You're so rude to me. Like... Oh, so mean. That's what it looked like from far away. Alright, so... We want to go... Let's go to the Gremlin Rack first. So we'll probably want to dodge that Reaver Heavy Corvette that's on the ground there. Oh, that's 4K's way. We'll be okay. Yeah, gremlin wreck is closer. You following? Yep. Are you finding flying that thing? Yeah. Alright. I don't remember if this thing had any active weapons on it. This gremlin wreck? Yeah. Alright, I'll go and inspect. You just hold back. My shield should be able to take whatever it can throw at me initially. Alright. Seems like I'm in the clear. No, oh, there's, there's not much left of it. Like, very little left of it. I don't think this will take you long to scrap. Did we salvage it already? No, um, looks like a lot of it got blown up. So I reckon it got attacked by something else. But you might as well pick up the stuff. There's a couple of thrusters here, so there's a decent amount of engines and stuff. You put lights on the bottom of this thing. Uh, no. Just be careful to keep an eye on your uh, horizon there, because it doesn't have much thrust if you tip too far. It's got great reverse thrust, but no down thrust. So seven kilometers behind us, there's another wreck. Or we could, or I could try and take out this Reaver heavy Corvette that's 2.3 k's ahead of us, the one that shot at me before. Oh. What do you reckon? Well, it's probably got some good stuff on it. Yeah, but it's night time. I'm not going to be able to see much. I can just follow the muzzle flashes. Oh boy. Fine. Give it a go. Oh, it is so dark. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty dark. It's not so bad once your eyes adjust. Yeah, it's just harsh when... Oh, incoming missiles! Lots of incoming missiles. Oh. Too many explosions. Oh, 
Yikes. That's close. Oh, those were torpedoes. Alright. Yep. Dealt with. Really? Yep. I didn't even take uh, a hit, I'm I don't seeing think. explosions. I'm not getting shot at anymore. I just saw two missile flashes. Well, I took out the thing that was shooting at me. Oh wait, is there another one? There's another one. Okay, it's down. I can't remember whether this thing has any internals or any underslung weapons. But it looks like I've completely neutralized it now. How's your inventory space going? Uh, it's at 33,000. 33,000 what? Kilograms. Yeah, 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 but you can't use mass. Your storage is full. What? Well, already? Yeah. That's why I said check your storage. Well, the grinders aren't full. They're not? Jeez, this thing doesn't have much room on it. Nope. It wasn't intended to operate a long way from home. Well, I can't dump into your grinders using easy inventory. Wait a second. You've repaired your ship. Your yeah. big ship. Yep. Your whatever you're going to call it. Would it be strong enough to pick this thing up? Uh, I don't know. And dump it in the base. Maybe on a planet with all the atmospheric thrusters, but I'm not sure if the hydrogen thrusters would be enough. Would it be worth designing it so that it could do that, do you think? I mean, rather than try to pick up a big wreck like this, we could use the gremlin as a ferry. Oh, as in you can attach your little grinder to it and uh, just ferry back and forth between this and the well, we, gremlin. We could attach your grinder ship to it. Oh yeah, that's what I meant, the one you're flying. That's yeah. when I said yours. Yeah, that's actually a pretty neat idea. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to take the grinder ship back down to the gremlin side of the hole? Um, I'll escort you back and then we can come back here with the gremlin and with that grinder attached. Well, um, oh, we could stay here and I could go get the gremlin. Oh, it's a bit low on fuel though. That's Oh, yeah. the gremlin is. So you'd have to mine some more ice to fill it up. <sighs> yeah. Well, you could also possibly replace a few of the atmospheric thrusters on the gremlin with some ion. Since you just collected a couple and there's another one around this side that's fully intact to try and you know conserve your hydrogen fuel a bit so how about just grab that ion thruster we'll mark this place there's another reva wreck um and then when we're both back at base we can decide how we're going to approach these size of wrecks because we need a more efficient way of dealing with them yes so slow having to grind them down this way i mean we could make a bigger grinder fitting or well, we could make a grinder fitting for the gremlin. Like we had on the cockroach way, way back. What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Whoa, jeez. Did that actually look close from your perspective? It looked like you were like two meters away. <laughs> okay. What do I need to know about the spider pig so I don't crash it on takeoff? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Just make sure the engines are turned on. You don't have like the batteries on recharge or something? Don't know. Don't think so. I wasn't overly concerned. With the batteries. Because it's not like the solar panels are going to charge it down here. Uh, so, a salvaging rig. Yeah. Should cover a decent area so that you can really just chomp through the rack quickly. Is one piston enough to support all this weight? Are you going to put it on a piston? Right. Suspending the superior gremlin from the ceiling with the piston that it's attached to with the connector. Oh, yeah, totally. Looks a bit awkward. No, no, no. There's. The structural integrity is not an issue. Alright, let me come have a look at this air traffic control station that you're talking about. Oh, um. Have you checked out what I did near where I presume your air traffic thing is? Oh, yeah. In terms of lighting the entryway. Oh yeah, I can see all the lights. It is much easier to navigate now. Did have to use a few spotlights, which I always try and minimise, but... It was necessary. Wait, is that it there? Interesting. Which side do I approach from? 
Which side can I get into it from? Uh, go for runway northeast uh, two. No, as in in my perp on foot. Uh, How on do foot, I get in? You either have to go back through the base and go out the original entrance, or you have to brave the tunnels. What do you mean by brave the tunnels? You have to descend into the madness of the mining tunnels and see if you can find your way through. Surely you could put a door out here. What? No, it's like a sheer cliff. That's the whole point. Yeah. Wait, is it going to get pressurized? It should get pressurized. Oh, uh, if you want to do that, you can do that. I don't go the long way. When you made all these airlocks, now you don't even want to use them. <laughs> Stop being so logical when it comes to proving me wrong. Oh yeah, this definitely needs to be sealed. Come uh -oh. back. What did you do to ah. your suit? Ow. Did you just die? No, but I fell out of the air traffic control tower to the bottom of the hangar. I bet you now I bet now you want a door out here. Well, it wouldn't have helped much. Well, it'll help you get back in. Also, what is up with your suit? You I'm look like you vomited all well. over yourself. Feeling a little nauseous. Yeah, I would have thought after that much vomit you wouldn't be nausea nauseated anymore. Arr. Brains. Cute. Anyway, um, who are we? What are we doing? Your, how's your grinding attachment going? It's done. Show me. Uh, how do we get to hang up from here? This way. Press the button for the lift. Hey! Oh no! Ow! What the? Ah! Uh, what the? Where are you? I fell through the lift. Oh, well, I guess that's one way to get down. Jeez, I make this lift and you don't ever use it. Well, it's hard to use it if you fall through it. You pushed me out of the door! Yeah. It's comedy gold. Don't grind me, you almost killed me! <laughs> Alright, so once we get past Seriously, this... can you clean your suit? It looks disgusting. Once we get past this beaten up old insect... Well, I've gotten very dirty in cleaning up this old ship. Mm. Alright, yeah. so what did you do? So now we get to the um, fine new pristine superior, superior gremlin. gremlin. How very cute. Um, yeah, I patched up the hole in the cockpit. I added a few more armor blocks. I redistributed the solar panels to places where they're not going to get sheared off when I try to fly through a narrow space. Except for this one, these two out the side, which are still sticking out further than anything else. Yeah, yeah, but they're not sticking out as far as the massive vein of solar panels that was there before. That's true. Uh, this one here is actually one of the original ones. It's the, yes, like, I, the branch I, original I one. I assumed. And then here at the back, I've got this extendable grinding apparatus. Is it piped up to your conveyor system? Yep. Okay. So should we take this thing out then? Alright, but I'm going to need some... How much fuel have you got? Oh yeah, that's a good question. I'm going to need Because I did fence. two loads with the spider crab. I'm going to need fuel. I... Why did you make the spider crab the colour of a pig? It's not the colour of a pig, it's the colour of a salmon. Well yeah, but it's also kind of pig coloured. Pig skin. Uh, I've got 18 fuel. Ugh. Uh, we might need some more fuel. Maybe I should set the tanks to fill. No, because then you'll empty out the cockroach. Well, we're not using the cockroach for a while, though. Alright, you can set them to stockpile. What? I don't have any hydrogen tanks? Wait, yes, you what, do. What are hydrogen tanks called? Hydrogen tanks. I'm not getting anything. Oh, they've been named hydrogen 1 and 2. Are they filling? Because they fill really quickly when you're on stockpile. Yep. If they're filling from other tanks. We should probably fit some tanks onto the base as well. There we go. Tanks are 100% full. Oh. Will they start draining if I take them off stockpile? Uh, no, they shouldn't unless there's another tank somewhere on the base that's on stockpile. Okay. Stockpile off. Stockpile off. All right. So, we've got to detach this thing. 
Uh, fly it backwards down this tunnel. Yep. And up and out. And hopefully still have fuel when I get to the surface. Yeah. Suppose I can always bring the spider crab over with a load of ice for you. Well, I should be able... It's got landing gear, so I can park it if I need to, but it'll be hideously exposed. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, I should check that my... When you get close to taking off, let me know and I'll go and grab the croissant and we'll, um, I will do what I can to protect um, this shepherd. I, I gotta configure my turret, so... Oh yeah, you gotta make sure you can control it, because that turret that's on top there will be a problem. Okay. Thrusters are on. Okay. Detaching from connector. Spider crab is landing with a load of ice. Uh, attempting to get an external view. Oh, this is very dark. <laughs> you didn't put any, um... Wait, are all your interior lights maxed? Uh... Set them all to maximum range. Uh, I don't have any lights? You've got heaps of lights. Oh, they've all been named different things. There you go. It's done. Uh, that's still not lighting up the cave. Well, you've got the roof lit up. Do you want me to? Do you want me to help guide? That might be a good idea. Are you detached? Yes. Okay, you are. As far as I can tell, clear both sides and clear from the ground. You need to go. A, you need to twist a little bit to the left. Like this. Yep, a little bit further. A little bit further. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. And now you should be able to travel straight backwards without hitting into the sides. Your closest side is on the left at the moment. Yeah. Got about... You got almost 20 meters of clear space on the right, so you may want to drift a bit to the right. Uh... That. Yep. Now keep moving backwards. How's your fuel situation? 93. Okay. You got a bit of fuel. Okay. Go up a bit. A little bit further. Alright, you clear down. Don't go up any further, you'll hit your turret. You have... You need to go right. Uh, bit further. Don't go up. Go right. Further. I'm going, I'm going. Further. Okay. Are you trying to make me wipe out my solar panels because you don't like them? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd thought of that. No, if I wanted to get rid of them, I'd just get rid of them. Okay, you can go up a bit. Um, you are mostly clear. You need to go a bit further back, though. You've got plenty of room to go back as well. Can you, um, get a third person view above you now? Yes. Can you see the edges of the cave? Yeah, kind of. This is the front edge. You should be clear to go pretty much straight up. Just don't go too quickly because you aren't right, perfectly um, level. Yeah, uh, go get uh, in your fighter. Um, All right. I don't want to. I don't want to get ambushed as soon as I get out of the roach hole. Yep. All I can see out there is a super gremlin at the moment. Oh yep, I see it. So you're fine, but the croissant will come to your aid. Alright, I'm out. Man, that's so much quicker than being able to see a little bit. Clearing the roach hole. Oh, right. yep, I see you. <laughs> I'm at 79 fuel. Okay, that's not too bad. Maybe you could put a couple of drills at the front. Alright, so what's our target? Where are we going? Uh, we are going to the Reaver Wreck. That was over near Gremlins, straight ahead. wasn't it? Yep. Uh, I should probably go first, if you're going to stay uh, so close to the ground. You should probably... Well, I'm not. I'm 
getting a bit of height, but you should not be so close. <laughs> Why not? I, whoa! What's... What's smoking? Did you build stuff in front of thrusters again? I don't think so. That's me! Oh, what? <sighs> what part of do not fly so close? I was checking you out and you just drove straight into me. Uh, well, oh. there's half my bridge wiped out. I'm going to have to rebuild that, I suppose. That's my whole left-hand side wiped out. Uh, what happened to your shields? My shields don't protect me from you because I didn't set them that way so I wouldn't destroy anything on the base when I landed. And after that little review of the footage, I honestly don't know if it was really my fault or Capex. I definitely feel he played a role boosting into me, but maybe I shouldn't have been there since I was the smaller ship. I'd like to get your opinion on it. I want to see if you guys think it was my fault, Capex, or Steve's. Because surely we can just blame Steve, right? Surely he's the perfect scapegoat. Next time, Capac and I are going to attempt to salvage using this thing. We'll see how that goes. It's already going swimmingly. So there's all that, and plenty more to come, and we will see you then.